All right, so we're going to go ahead and install our push rods. And you just simply do that by dropping them right through the head. You want to make sure you have the right push rods for your cam. And seeing as how this is a stock cam with stock lift, these stock push rods will be just fine. But with different lift cams, you do need different push rods to make sure that your rocker geometry is correct. And when I say um, your rocker geometry is correct, it needs to push down right in the center, make contact in the center of this valve. And how you can check this is you'll take a permanent marker and color in the top of this valve stem and then turn the motor over by hand a few times and you should see the permanent marker rubbed away right in the middle. If it's more to one side or the other then you either have too long or too short of push rods and you need to make a change. Well with these pedestal rockers there is no adjustment so they just are what they are. Um, but where you would, with a different cam, you'd have to actually shim these around and mess around with some different stuff there. But with a stock cam, these pedestal rocker heads do just fine. So we'll go ahead and um, keep dropping our push rods in here. But another thing you want to be mindful of is this is a, uh, a 91 truck block. So it's actually a roller block. See how it has the provisions here for the spider and then the dog bones would go on here and that's why the lifters sit so deep because the uh, the lifter area here is actually for a roller lifter so um, naturally it has longer push rods because of this and these push rods are specific to uh, the truck motors so you want to be sure that you have the right push rods in there and have the right valve train geometry so we'll go ahead and get these all dropped in here and keep moving along. Alright so I was getting my rockers all prepped up here and I want to make mention of these slots that are in the rockers. You can kind of see them. You can better see them in the pedestal part here but these slots need to line up with the slots in the rocker so that's real important. So if you're using these style rockers you want to look out for that. Okay so we're going to go ahead and check our um, valve geometry here so I took a permanent marker and I've colored in the top of this uh, this valve stem so I'll go ahead and put this rocker assembly on and turn the motor around a few times and see where we are Okay, so we set our valve as we are supposed to and then spun the motor and we can see that our wear is right in the center of the valve stem. So we should be good to go. Our rocker geometry is correct so we're ready to put our rockers on and get them all set. Alright, so we got the rockers on and somewhat snug down. Notice I put assembly lube between the valve stem and the rocker arm here and how I'm going to set these is I'm going to set the valve when the opposing valve on that cylinder is at full lift. Now that will mean that this valve would have to be fully closed. So if this one's at full lift this one would have to be on the back of the cam lobe and then we can go ahead and set that. Now with these pedestal rockers they're not that difficult to set um, the bolts just need to be torqued to 25 foot-pounds and that's it. There's nothing more you can do. So if the rocker geometry is all correct, you just torque this down to 25 and you should be good to go. If you really want to check it, which I've already checked, is what you can do is rotate your, uh, or move up and down your push rod as you tighten your rocker down, as you snug it down. Once you feel a little bit of drag, stop and what it should be is it should take somewhere under one full turn from that point to reach um, 25 foot pounds and if it takes once you have drag on your push rod just the slightest bit of drag once it takes that 25 foot pounds it should be as I said 
no more than one full turn, um, 360 degrees with your torque wrench. Um, if it's any more than that, you might have rocker preload issues. So you want to be mindful of that when you're going through. So we're going to go ahead and get to setting these valves. So we'll wait until our, uh, our exhaust valve is at full lift on cylinder number one here. All right, there it is at its dwell point. So now we can go ahead and set our cylinder number one rocker. So coming around, coming around. Still looking for that 25 foot pounds. And there we go. So almost one half turn it took to take this uh, rocker to 25 foot pounds. And that's what we're after. We should have proper um, lifter preload at this point. So um, that's what we're after. And we're going to do this same idea with all the lifters. So when this lifter is at max lift, then we'll move on to our exhaust valve and adjust um, this rock arm and lifter assembly as well. So we're going to get that all done, but that's pretty much how you go ahead and set your valves and you should be good from there. Okay, so at this point your valves are all set. You want to go through and watch them all. But they all appear to be in good shape, so we're all set to uh, move on to paint. Normally you put the intake manifold on and then paint, but we have a polished aluminum intake manifold that we don't want to paint, so we'll go ahead and get this all taped off and everything and move on to that point.